All right. Hey there, we're at North Shore Inline Marathon for the 25th annual uh, race here in Duluth, Minnesota. We're at the Rollerblade booth. This is our collection for 2022. Um, some things have stayed the same. This is our race collection here. Um, starting at the top, you've got the Power Blade. This is an Italian made boot. Uh, and it's heat moldable. It's got the 125 wheels on it. Um, really good fitting micro ratchet ratcheting buckle. Um, really good skate. A little bit less expensive, but equally as good is the Power Blade. So this is Power Blade Pro, regular Power Blade. A um, little different inside, but it, a lot of people have less um, fit issues with it, so they don't have to mold it as much. So it's much easier you can to get it set to your foot, and it costs a little bit less, which is nice for the pocket. And we have our E2, which replaced the Endurace. Um, really sleek looking boot. Looks a lot like a power blade. It's just got that real nice uh, finish with black leather. Um, also carbon fiber. It has um, the 45 degree strap here and then a, a ratcheting buckle up top. The cuff hinges back and forward so you get that range of motion that you need for speed skating. Um, really, really great skate. Um, and then the next step down from that is the 110 version. So everything about it is the same with the exception of the frame. The frame is a 110 frame, so you can't put a 125 on it. So it's great for someone that wants to be a little bit lower to the ground, um, but still have that speed skate boot. Um, the really good thing about this skate is having the cuff gives you that lateral support. So you can get the performance you're gonna get out of a speed boot, but without having um, the ankle strength to hold your foot in a, in a low boot. This is great, this is what I use. Uh, stepping over here, we have our um, molded shell collection. Um, starting at the top, we've got the Twister 110. This is, uh, it's an urban collection, if you will. Um, skate is phenomenal. They have new liners for this coming year. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this comes with the 110 urban frame. So the wheel frame length is a little bit closer together to give you that mo um, maneuverability that you want. Um, you can also put lots of different frames on here. Like I like a one a 4x90 um, if you want. So there's a lot of aftermarket stuff you can do to this uh, skate. The micro ratchet buckle is really awesome here. Classic buckle up top here. Um, really, really good skate. I love the color on this. And then looking down to just the twister, uh, women's and men's, to show you a little bit about the liner. Um, We've adjusted the way that the toe is shaped with this big uh, stretchy material here to hold the tongue in place when you're getting in. Also has this plastic bridge here that gives you a little bit more support uh, when you're flexing and uh, eyelets up here to give you a really nice fit inside the boot. Um, the material inside is just phenomenal. Um, the padding, really, really good. Um, just to give you a little bit of the inside of the twister itself. Um, you've got that red shock absorber in there, which is really nice to have when you're bumping over rough terrain. Um, you can also see through and you can see the ventilation through the bottom of the, the boot, which is great. And then moving down the collection, we're moving into um, more of a fitness realm, but still in a molded shell. This is the Maxim collection here. This is the Maxim 125. So you got the 125 wheel. What's nice about this is the frame length of this 125 is shorter than what comes on the E2. So you get more maneuverability, uh, but you still get a great roll because you are on that bigger wheel. Um, the liner is very similar to the Twister liner. You have that plastic bridge in there on the tongue of the liner and eyelets, but where you get a little bit different is you can see the ventilation in the, in the liner here with the holes that will bring uh, air in onto your foot. Again, it has the uh, ventilation on the bottom, just like the Twister. And the, I guess the big differences here are, are the way the buckles are. So this one has a different style buckle, um, a, a different piece of material here that sits over the uh, arch of the foot. Um, so this is a little bit softer than the Twister. The Twister is going to be a stiffer flex. So this is going to be a little bit um, easier to flex into. And that's why it's better designed for uh, fitness skating or cross training. Big in the skate to ski world, like a lot of the skiers that are skating. Uh, we'll, we'll choose this boot. And then down here we have the women's 
and uh, men's version of the 90, which is one of my favorite frame setups, a 4x90. Um, big enough to get a good roll and carry speed, um, but long enough to give me a nice frame length. So uh, I, it's not so quick turning, so I can go a little bit faster on hills and things like that for cross training for skiing. Um, again, just the beautiful colors in this new collection for the, for the Maxim 90. And you can see down there the, the men's color with the kind of burnt red. And uh, moving along here, we, we're into the Macro Blade collection. Um, this is a great skate for most people. It's really affordable to get into and it's, it's really well made. Um, well, starting at the top here, we have a 110 version. There's a men and a women's. This is the women's colorway. Um, this one's got a, a simple 45 degree Velcro strap and your classic uh, buckle that just goes in and snaps down. It also has a cinch lace system here, so you can pull it nice and tight, slide this piece down, and uh, get a nice secure fit, hold your heel right into the heel cup. Uh, the big difference between a skate like the, this and the, uh, the E2 is you're not gonna have the removable frame, so this is fixed to the boot. So it's really great for people that don't wanna get too technical, they can just put it on and go skate and they don't really have to worry about too much. And this skate comes in a, the 110, as I said, which is up top here. And then you have a 100 version here, men's and women's. Um, it's really the same as you work your way down. And then you have a, a 90 version again, which is a really solid skate for someone learning how to skate. And, it, and having that 90 will allow you to progress your skating skills and still have a skate that'll that keep you rolling and, and you can keep. Um, at the bottom here, we have the kids version. This is the micro blade. Um, it's an adjustable skate for children. It comes with the 80, I'm sorry, the 72 millimeter wheels, but you can put three 80 millimeter wheels on it. So you can turn it into a three by, which is really cool. Cause then you could upgrade the wheel for your kid to like a hydrogen wheel, three by 80. Um, the adjustability is really easy. The push button's right there. You just undo the buckle and the strap, push down on that and the toe slides right out and you've got a size indicator right there with an arrow and you just, you set it to whatever your kid's size is and the way they roll. Um, moving over here, within the molded boot category is our RB collection. And the RB is a price point version of the Twister. It fits really comfortably. A lot of people like the fit of this because they don't have to uh, have a break-in period like you may have with a Twister. Um, you have the 110 up here, which is like the Twister 110, but the RB 110 um, definitely has ventilation holes, a little bit different system for the 45 degree strap, um, but it does have the lace up eyelets in the, in the liner um, and you can replace frames. So it's a solid boot that you can put a lot of different things on depending on your needs as a skater. And then the, the 80 version here, and what's really exciting, this came out this past year and is carrying forward is the uh, kids' Apex, which is a molded shell for children, which also is size adjustable. And uh, you can adjust your frames on it too, which is really cool for kids. And just having this twister RB style for a kid is great. So the kid's a hockey player or a skier, this is gonna give them that like super secure fit that they may be used to from other sports. Really phenomenal product. Also has a shock absorber in there too, just like the Twister and the RB collection. So that's what we got here from Rollerblade. Uh, we also have some accessories if you wanted to look at those. They're right over here. We, we make a lot of different accessories. Rollerblade does what we have here for the marathon and stuff that the uh, speed skaters are gonna be interested in. So we have this X helmet here, which is new. It's got the visor, nice uh, micro adjustable ring in the back here. So it fits really well on anybody's head. Um, great helmet. Um, we also have race gloves, um, which are great to have for race day in case you happen to go down, something to protect your palm, lightweight. Um, and we have ankle wraps now, which are great. Uh, you put these on underneath your socks or if you skate barefoot, it'll keep down uh, any rubbing. It also takes up some volume. So if you're having a little bit of a fit issue, you can put this on and it'll make the skate a little bit snugger. And pairing those with some of our performance socks. I mean, no matter who the skater is, everybody loves our socks. The quality of them is phenomenal. 
um, the way they fit the NanoGlide technology, which allows uh, anti-friction, so you don't get blisters as easy. It also has some material in there that will keep down the funk of your feet, so if you're using them a couple times, they don't smell so bad, um, and they just, they're absolutely phenomenal. People ask me for these socks all the time, no matter what they skate. Um, and to round it all off, we have this uh, skate bag, which holds your skates on the outside, um, which is convenient, it gives you a lot of space inside for whatever you may need, your laptop, um, extra set of clothes, um, anything important to you that you need for race day or just traveling. Um, great bag, it's got the uh, cross strap here to keep it nice and snug. Um, really well made, great product. It's, uh, oh sorry, and it also has a, uh, a space in the bottom here that allows you to put like your uh, wet clothes after you're skating or your shoes in here that keeps it separate from the rest of the stuff in your bag which is, is, is clutch. Um, this is a 30 liter bag, so it holds quite a bit of space and that, that does not include this, the skates on the outside. Some bags, your skates go inside, you lose a lot of space with that, so this is a phenomenal bag. Oh, and one last thing before I forget, there's also a helmet clip here. So you uh, slide that up through the helmet um, and it holds right on the outside. So a lot of what you're going to need to skate sits on the outside of the bag. Uh, again, super convenient, well made. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers.